Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm really happy to see you again. And a long time no see since yesterday. Okay. Good morning, Ariana. Uh, so you saying you carved with the mallet. Wonderful. Okay. Um, whatever your name is uh, in Arabic or Farsi, I have no idea, but uh, good morning to you. Okay. Good morning. And Keith, good morning. Uh, wonderful. So, uh, <laughs> okay, one thing is better than lunch. Thank you, Keith. That is uh, really good to hear. Ben, good to see you. Great. So, um, everyone who's joining me on Facebook, on uh, YouTube, on Instagram, on a Twitch, and there's uh, like all over, you know, there's uh, multiple platforms. I really appreciate you coming back almost daily. Uh, Carl, good morning. Mahid or Majid, Mr. Bahrami. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but good morning. Well, actually, good evening to you because you are in India. And for me, well, actually, it's afternoon. It's already uh, one minute after 12 o'clock. Uh, so uh, that is good. All right. So someone is uh, on a Twitch saying you can't see a video. Can you see on me? Uh, can you see me on YouTube? And uh, on the Facebook, you should be able to, should be able to. Let me refresh. And uh, yeah, it looks like it works uh, on my end. Uh, my apologies if uh, not all um, uh, platforms connecting correctly. But anyway, so majit like a j right so that's uh, your name good evening to you okay whatever you're from uh, so yesterday uh, yesterday uh, i was talking about uh, clay modeling okay and uh, uh, i i promise that i'm gonna tell you what i use what uh, uh, my preference is and i completely forgot okay what uh, product i use uh, if you look at the video yesterday if you go back uh, to yesterday uh, so there's going to be a link to amazon uh, that is exactly the product i'm using it's actually plastilina by certain brand i like uh, I, I i i tried different ones uh, even that same brand they do have a different colors a uh, different density uh, softness and hardness okay i found that the gray one uh, which is um uh, uh, this one uh, it's a really really you know flexible and uh, uh, i'm gonna just tell a little bit about yesterday and then I, i'm gonna jump on today's subject okay uh, i am not using any dry clay i mean drying clay so i i'm not making models uh, that i want to keep so there's no reason for me because every job is different and uh, i don't really need to accumulate you know dust <laughs> more than i have right now okay so that uh, that is why number one uh, so the secondly i can reuse soft clay it's actually plastilina we call that uh, in russian language just a plastiline okay so uh, i can always reuse it okay so it's a uh, soft enough but it still holds uh, a form it's not shrinks and that's good okay that's good that is uh, why i use a certain uh, plastiline it's a professional grade it's not like a, a play-doh what the children play with okay it's different okay it's a more professional grade it's actually uh true clay mixed with some kind of oils together okay so it's just not drying one that's uh uh, as far as yesterday now paul good morning good morning good morning stefan good morning from bulgaria good evening uh, good evening good evening good evening okay so most of you actually looking uh, i mean watching this video uh, it's already afternoon or evening eugene great to see you brent great to see you mark good to see you so everyone who joined uh, great to see people but uh, I, uh, yesterday I had the, one of the questions about specialty tools, uh, like, uh, uh, there are, you know, different uh, specialty tools and one of them is a tool like this. Okay. So, and, uh, if, um, I'm going to show you a little closer. So this tool is a specialty tool and it's made uh, for, um, spoon carvers. You actually just excavate that, uh, uh, when you're carving a spoon 
and uh, I don't use it too much, uh, not in all actually to be exact. Even if I'm gonna uh, show you, uh, you know, this piece, uh, there's a lot of different excavations on inside uh and uh, it's not comfortable for me i mean i can't get inside and uh, carve uh, with that tool for spoon well i can't even get it out for spoon it's okay but you know i did not find that uh, too useful okay i did not it just uh, works only pretty much on a pool I mean, you you can do, I guess, you can do that, but uh, uh, it's not uh, not uh, my style of uh, carving. You, you, again, you know, you, I mean, you can probably use it, but you are limited actually just the to pull motion, so you can't work out of you because it's already rising on my, uh, you know not the heel but uh, I, I i can't even lower my handle low enough you know in this area and grab the material see you can't even hear all right so uh to answer you that question uh that tool is uh, really useful only for spoon carvers okay uh the, for people who carving spoons okay so i should say it okay so that uh, was the uh, number one question number two question maybe i have to make a video uh, which I missed multiple times. How do I price my work? Uh, it, it's a really good subject, but it's a little tricky subject, okay? It's a really, really tricky uh, uh, subject. So, uh, let me know if you want to know a little more in depth, you know, how to price your work, uh, if you're working with your hands, and if you want to make your uh, hobby uh, money machine. I mean, I mean, hobby as a money machine, right? So, but anyway, so uh, yes, it, it is possible to make uh, a good living actually with your hobby and uh, enjoy, uh, although there's limitations because uh, you always uh, like uh, locked down in your shop <laughs> because when you carve, you know, you're losing sense of time and uh, like uh, you start 6 a.m. and you finish like 2 a.m., and you even didn't see how much time passed already. I mean, you it just the flies. So, and you're just gonna be like, like locked down all the time. Let me read the, uh, some of the comments, okay. Uh, Julie, good morning, okay. Paul is saying you enjoyed the video I posted last time. So, are, are, are you talking about the video without uh, talking, without any music are you talking about uh, my video about uh, clay modeling okay let me know please yes i posted yesterday night video when i was carving without any music without any talking it's just the sound of uh, gouge and wood i call it like a dancing or waltz if you wish uh, dance between metal and the wood steel and wood okay so that was good and also let me know if you like those videos i really appreciate uh, that way i can make uh, a little more because there's a lot of gaps actually when i'm working uh, on my piece and i don't want to talk i can't talk all day long uh, while, even if i'm filming for hours uh, every day for my school but there's some gaps actually uh, uh, when i'm uh, really quiet okay really quiet and all i can hear is just the sound of uh, my gouge and uh, uh, I found out uh, it's actually uh, the sound it produces when you're carving with the gouge or chisel the sound of that slicing through the fibers it's really satisfactory to your brains it's actually triggers some um, production of hormones like endorphins and you experiencing euphoria euphoria Okay, so you getting special satisfaction, like tingling effect. It's what they saying. Um, and uh, surprisingly, of course, I am checking analytics, uh, retention rate, what videos watched the longest. Uh, yeah, I mean, when I'm doing a live, uh, everybody's pretty much sticking to the end. But uh, uh, my videos uh, also watched after life. 
and that is interesting without any talking and without any music retention was absolutely tremendous you know people just kept watching and watching i think it's just like a hypnosis or something like this okay uh, so it's like hypnosis and let me read all right sound like an opera so from ajit uh eugene is saying yes that video was really good uh paul is saying carving is my meditation until i break something yeah absolutely yeah i know but anyway so you 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 gotta have some problems to be solved but let me jump um uh, to today's subject and today's subject is mullets all right so mullets and uh, uh i named this video uh you know about uh, mullets stop hurting yourself all right i, I mean in reality do you even uh, need uh, to use those mullets uh, do you even uh, have to use them by the way for those of you who don't know who am i i'm uh, alexander grabovetsky and i'm a wood carver i'm getting just the new subscribers every day uh, so and i know some of you just uh, searching and uh, finding me and if you're not subscribed to my channel yet i really appreciate if you would just uh, first of all like it and uh, subscribe it and hit that you know little ding ding thing you know bell and make sure when you hit that just get all the notifications if you want to see if you don't want to miss my uh live streams all right uh please do also if you follow me on um uh social platforms or if you have i'm, I'm sorry you not follow me i shouldn't say that okay if you're still not following me on instagram on or facebook please do it's a wood carver grabovetsky okay wood carver grabovetsky for younger people it's instagram for people a uh, little older facebook still okay all right good so all about mullets uh, you probably already uh, uh, saw a picture what i showed to you uh, and uh, yeah that picture uh, is uh, uh, you know some of my mullets and i love them i love 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 uh, collecting those mullets i really love it okay uh, the only thing is uh, i'm not using all of the mullets okay and i can show you one of my favorite mullets it's uh, this one okay this is uh, one of my favorite mullets and uh, it's beautifully done and it's not on only beautifully done it's actually uh, done by famous famous wood turner from a friend of mine from israel okay and yes i really love uh, those gifts when people give them to me they make some stuff and uh, giving to me okay so that is one my uh, one of my favorite mullets okay another one is uh, also done uh, by another uh, also really famous uh, wood turner and that's done by uh, from uh, i mean done from a friend of mine from canada it's beautifully done okay so that is uh, also a really gorgeous one all right but uh, the question one i mean the question i have uh, which mullet is the best uh, i mean if, if you noticed uh, i did not use those mullets at all okay i did not okay uh, there's uh, nothing on them all right and that uh, there is a reason there is a reason uh, so uh, yes i love good looking mullets i love uh, collecting them i really enjoy you know a collection of mullets but i'm pretty much using all the time just a, a simple rubber head mullet okay i mean couple of them actually but i'm using pretty much daily those two guys and i'm using uh, uh, the brass ones that's what i'm using all right and i'll explain to you the way i use okay uh paul is saying i was carving alaskan yellow cedar last night uh, what is my opinion about uh carving that wood uh yellow cedar is great i mean uh, cedar wood is great i just don't like the grain of it it just it distracts the eye uh, you know you can't do really tiny details because the grain okay uh, but if you're doing a huge uh, details i mean it, it's uh, one of the woods uh, used to be used in the history pretty much even when they built temple solomon built temple and all inside before they 
uh, gold leaf. It, it was uh, all uh, done in a cedar, but it's uh, from Lebanon. It's different cedar. Okay, but uh, it's beautiful wood. But uh, anyway, about the mullets. Okay, uh, about uh, uh, like 2000. 11 i believe uh, i posted on facebook one of the pictures of uh, my tools uh, like a tool rack and uh, i had uh, one of the commenters that he comments it, you know i mean comments it i apologize okay he he said well your tools is just like brand new you like you you never use them or you just got them and those tools like 20 years old but uh, the thing about my tools if you look at my tools let me show to you one of the old tools I have uh, so this is uh, one of the old tools but if you look at it if you look at it uh, at the uh, end of my tool it's like brand new and I never used that okay it's a uh, really clean and nice but this tool is old okay and uh, uh, people sometimes when they watching um, uh, on um, YouTube or any other platform wood carvers and wood carvers showing the way they work uh, those handles they look like a mushroom okay it's already beaten you know and just uh, smashed and so on but my tools they are not I really uh, there's a reason I respect my tools I love my tools and I don't want to replace my handles uh, although it's not a problem I mean you can replace anytime uh, you handle it's not a problem but uh, uh, the way I treat my tool the way I treat my tool so matters to me okay so i i keep my tools and some of them really old and they still uh, working every day i mean i'm using them every day and uh, they like i bought them yesterday and the reason why because i'm using the right mallet okay because i'm using the right mallet okay and uh, in my case the right mallet would be uh, it's uh, you know rubberized or whatever the rubberized mallet by wood is good and by the way there should be a link uh, below the video uh, uh, to amazon and you can find them so when you're using that mallet uh, so you really it, it's still heavy it's still heavy it's a 32 ounces but you saving you protecting pretty much uh, the edge so that is uh, everyday use and i'm using that really really heavily i can show to you just uh, like uh, an example on this piece so I can bang with that mod with no problem, really heavily, really heavily, okay? But I'm not damaging my tool at all. I mean, not damaging, damaging my tool at all. So that is uh, uh, one of the reasons why I like uh, those uh, rubber mallets, okay? So also uh, why i like those uh, rubberized mallets it's a lot easier on your hands okay because it absorbs the stroke on its own okay versus if you would just uh, use a traditional mallet uh, like a wooden mallet uh, so all the stroke goes inside of your hand and you feel it i mean if you uh, if you worked on a huge pieces or even just a sculpture uh, if you just a uh, banging uh, with the wooden mallet uh, all day long all those strokes going inside of your hand and that uh, creates some kind of pain so that's why i called my video don't hurt yourself let me uh, also show you uh, uh, just example i mean uh, another reason uh, if you using mallet and uh, i'm using mallets a lot uh, you know sound of it it gets to your ears because it's just the uh, the wooden mallet just produces uh, not too pleasant noise okay i mean it's okay i guess but if you bang that all day long it's not too good okay versus uh, you know when you're using rubber mallet see how much quieter with the same amount of stroke okay so that's why i like those mallets uh, myself yeah it doesn't look uh, too nice because i have no idea why those guys actually use uh, uh, you know uh, green color on the mallets okay it's not like a woodworkish okay or woodworking style i would say i would just probably change that color to something more nicer okay and uh, uh, uh rustam is asking uh, what kind of material is it made from are you asking about this mallet this is just a rubber Это просто резина, резиновая силиконовая штука одета, окей, okay? Рустам. 
Uh, so that is uh, the reason why I like those uh, rubberized mullets. Okay. Uh, the, the second, uh, uh, probably my favorite mullet after that rubberized mullet is a small guy like this. Okay. And that's made out of the brass. Okay. So that is a out of the brass mullet. And this one is a, a little lighter. And I have um, that one is a, like a one pound. This one is just about maybe half a pound. Uh, mullet so it's a really my favorite ones yes this one uh, gets noisy okay but people don't know how to use it okay people don't know it's a different mullet okay i know there's some wood carvers actually uh, master wood carvers they never use uh, any uh, brass mullets in all especially in england uh, uh, I know uh, Peter Benson, a wood carver in England. He is a master wood carver. Uh, he never uses. Uh, I mean, at least a few years ago, he wrote in the magazine, uh, wood carving magazine. He never uses any brass mallets because uh, metal and wood it's, it should not be right there. Okay, because it just again, uh, because it's uh, uh, damages the end uh, of the handle. That is the problem. What he's seen. Okay. So now, uh, makes sense so far? Yaroslav, hello, good to see you. Um, epoxy, yes, that is epoxy resin. Uh, I, maybe, okay, <laughs> you know, you maybe know more about, uh, uh, you know, what's the rubber thing is. I apologize, I'm not a chemist. Uh, all I know, uh, you know, it's just the thing wraps around maple. <laughs> All right, and that's good. That's good. Uh, uh, Shaaf recently made the mullet, which is looking almost like equal uh, to good as wood. I mean, wood is good. <laughs> Sorry. Wood is good. Okay. So if you look at them, it's just like two brothers. Exactly the same thing. Just the brand is different. Okay. Uh, uh, Although I doubt they still have that mallet uh, available because uh, it's much uh, more economical and people, I guess, bought them too quickly. So not uh, too much. Okay, uh, now I need to show you how to use it. Okay, uh, when you're using a normal mallet, just like that. Okay, so you really have to eliminate the mistake what uh, many people uh, doing. Okay, so when you bang on a tool, so you're not supposed to use the whole body or even the whole hand when you're just doing it. You're really just using uh, your palm, okay? So that's what you're using, okay? When you're just using your palm, you're actually not creating stress on your arm and the hand and your shoulder, okay? Because it gets to you. I mean, it gets to you. You can get really, it, it can get really painful if you're using that all day long. Uh, you can get really tired really quickly. So what you're doing, you're just using that uh, in a palm, okay? So that's the way you use. It's the, that mallet. And I just to show it to you, okay? I'm just going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you and I need to, to get uh, some of the tools, okay? So I'm not sure if you're able to catch uh, the motion of my hand, but uh, pretty much, you know, uh, what I'm doing, just uh, using my palm and it's uh, really free, okay? So I'm not, I'm not really grabbing that hard. So all, all I'm doing, I'm just uh, letting my mallet do the work without stressing my arm in all, okay? So I'm just doing that, okay? And that is a heavy mallet, like a 32 ounces. So there's a 12 ounces, there's 16 ounces, there's a 20 ounces, there's a 32 ounces, there's a different uh, weight of mallets. But you can see, I mean, if you watch my hand, I'm not stressing my uh, arm in all, okay? Not in all. So all I'm doing is just uh, hitting like this, okay? So that is uh, the way I'm using the mallet. Okay, now uh, uh, the brass mallets, the brass mallets, uh, uh, it's absolutely different use for the brass mallets, okay? So you're not using your mallet by holding in your hand. Okay, you're using your mallet. Uh, I mean, I, I, I know some of the guys actually they do. They use the same way, but it's not uh, made for it. Yes, you will uh, destroy 
you will destroy it okay so what you have to do so you holding um, your hand like this okay so just uh, in your palm and you just uh, tackle little by little Let me get a little closer to you just a little closer to you right and you just uh, using it just like that and stroke little by little So that's the way you're using um, uh, your brass mallets. That's the way you're using brass mallets. Okay, now uh, also I need to tell you uh, why you should use mallet, uh, why I'm using mallet, because I didn't use my mallets uh, 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 for a long time, because I, I thought, I mean, I would just uh, push and that's going to be uh, uh, sufficient for me. Uh, but I found personally with the mallet I have a lot more control because when you just uh, pushing with your tool you forcing the whole body and there's a still momentum and that cut can uh, slice and uh, destroy the next detail uh, well you get a lot more tired of course if you just are uh, doing um, uh, by hand uh, I mean just the uh, pushing with the mallet with the mallet you are controlling a lot better okay uh, Yaroslav is asking what weight mallet uh, is optimal. Uh, I'm using uh, uh, two, I would say, uh, uh, two weights, okay, most of the time. I use light as a 12 ounces and I use uh, like, uh, I believe it's a 30 ounces or something like this, maybe 32 ounces. So the heaviest one is uh, this one, it's the heaviest one and the lightest one is a 12 ounces. This one is uh, uh, 12 ounces. And that one is a uh, 30 ounces okay so those two guys all right and uh, I'm using uh, just a half a pound uh, small mallet like this as the brass those are uh, three guys I'm using most of the time and the uh, rest of those uh, rest of those uh, mallets is just the collecting dust well it's actually not collecting dust it's it's, it's a collection but I'm mean, not using them at all okay uh, and uh, also I have to tell you now one of the things um, about the mallets all right so let me show you this one okay why i don't use this one okay not only not only uh to keep it because it's done by a famous guy but i also don't use it look at the finish okay look at the finish okay so uh, there's a, some finish and sometimes it's uh, not the good thing okay to have finish on your mallet uh, I mean, it's a good idea to protect maybe, but it's not the best idea because when you hit the tool, when you hit the tool and if it uh, has a, some kind of slick finish, it's actually tries to <laughs> jump out. Okay, so it's not really grabbing. Okay, so it's not really convenient. So that's why uh, if you're planning to turn your own um, mallet, it's uh, always better not to put any finish like this. In this case, there's absolutely no finish. Okay. Uh, absolutely no finish and it's a tiger maple uh, by the way I can't uh, say you know enough how I love tiger maple all right uh, thank you very much wonderful people I'm not gonna do a long stream today let me read a couple of the questions uh, I I will try to be a little shorter uh, because again I'm watching um, uh, retention rate and uh, uh, I still have to do some work okay I still have to do some work uh, uh, if you do have a question uh, I'll gladly answer to you and I'll get back to work okay I let me see and uh, yes I am actually reading all the questions you still able to post even after video I'll be able to check all the chat and uh, answer to you next time if I miss something and I really apologize if I miss something okay let me see let me see uh, yes i mean uh, ryan is saying mallets are great for uh, fine cuts i agree with you is that the question or is it the statement if it's a statement statement it's amen okay so i use that even on a small micro tools which you're not supposed to use mallet in all when you buy micro tools uh, it says do not use mallets on them but i use okay maybe i'm breaking the rule but i never had any uh, problem okay okay i guess uh, that's it uh now uh, uh rustam is asking 
for every project do I need different size? Are you talking about uh, tools? Or are you talking about uh, mallet? Okay. Uh, as far as the mallets, it's the same mallets for every project. Okay. It uh, depends uh, if you want to save time, if you want to be safe, you know, uh, as far as the health and so on. Okay. Ryan, it's a statement. That is good. Uh, now, uh, uh, I have to tell you, uh, there's uh, some people, they... Uh, they asked me by email uh, about my travel and there's actually a travel calendar if you go to my school site schoolofwoodcarving.com forward slash events uh, you will see uh, classes which is not uh, which is not cancelled yet okay because coronavirus and so on uh, my calendar is changing this year uh, may class i believe it's a postpones it uh, in the Mark Adams School in Indianapolis, Maine. Uh, I'm gonna be in Maine, and just uh, make sure there's a two schools in Maine. So I will be. It's not canceled yet. Okay. So we don't know. Uh, there's uh, some restrictions uh, to travel, but hopefully it's not. Please go on that uh, website. There's uh, still some spots available because some people uh, wouldn't be able to make it just because the states. Uh, uh, not allowing to travel to another states. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, not. Uh, I don't know every state, but I I know for a fact some states they not allowed to come from another state. Okay, they just uh, stop those travelers. But uh, that is the school I gonna be. Okay, it's gonna be in Ca Camden. Okay, I, I I don't know if I'm butchering the name of it, but it's a beautiful lake. Okay, beautiful lake, and that's a main cost workshops uh, workshop dot com. Okay. Uh, William Brown is the owner. He is uh, also really, uh, you know, professional level, uh, professional, professional level wood worker. And that's going to be just a family atmosphere. So that is going to be uh, in May. So hopefully we're still going to be able to make it. So please uh, check that site. Uh, it's uh, maincostworkshop.com. Okay, let me clear that now. Uh, I also uh, gonna be in Tampa. Uh, in Tampa, I believe in June. I'm gonna be in June. Okay, in couple times actually. I'm gonna be also at fall. Uh, and uh, in Mark Adams, I'm gonna return back also in fall. Okay, just to check my calendar. Schoolofwoodcarving.com forward slash events. Thank you very much, wonderful people. Um, I'll see you next time. And like I said, I want to be a little shorter uh, because uh, uh, I, I have some work and I got to work on that. Otherwise, it's going to be a problem for me. Okay. So get ready for the next time. Uh, please uh, uh, get ready your questions. I would really appreciate. You can actually comment uh, below. I really appreciate if you can comment below with your questions. And the next time I can probably hit those questions and answer them okay again if you're not uh, subscribed yet i really would appreciate if you would if you would like it first subscribe it and uh, you know hit that bell okay so on a social follow me on uh, instagram and uh, facebook it's actually the same wood carver grabovetsky tag me also i really appreciate if you can tag me i you know thank you very much wonderful people have a wonderful blessed night day morning evening and stay safe okay